friends, firstly, I will tell the story about Goldilocks and Three Bears. Let's go! Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a little bear house in the forest. There was a big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a little baby bear. Inside the house, there were three chairs. A big chair for a papa bear, a middle-sized chair for a mama bear, and a little chair for a baby bear. In the bedroom, there were three beds. A big bed for papa bear, a middle-sized bed for mama bear, and a little bed for baby bear. One morning, the big papa bear was reading his morning newspaper. The middle-sized mama bear was cooking breakfast, and the little bear decided to play with his toys until breakfast was ready. That morning, mama bear had cooked porridge for breakfast, and she had set it out on the table in three bowls. A big bowl for papa bear, a middle-sized bowl for mama bear, and a little bowl for baby bear. When mama bear tests the porridge, she found it was too hard to eat. So the three bears should go for a walk in the forest while they were waiting for the porridge cool. That same morning, a little girl named Godilocks was walking through the woods. She had always known the bear house. She knocked the door and there was no answer, but the door was open. Then Kodilok went into the house with a gently. She was so exciting. She saw the three chairs. Kodilok was tired from her long walk, so she decided to sit down. When she sat in the big chair, it was too hard. Then she sat in the middle chair, it was too soft. And she sat in a little chair, it was just right until she broke the chair. Then she saw the porridge. Goldilocks was hungry for her long walk, so she decided to eat. She tasted all the porridge, but the most tasty porridge on little bowl. After that, Goldilocks was sleepy from her long walk and wondered where she could lie down. Then she saw the bedroom. She tried lying down on the big bed, but it was too hard and also too high. She tried lying down on the middle-sized bed, but it was too soft. She tried lying down on the little bed. It was like her cozy bed at home and so she went to sleep. At that time, the three bears came home from playing in the woods. When the three bears arrived at home as soon as they were inside the house, the bears knew that someone had been there.
Papa Bear said in his big voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear said in a middle-sized voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair. Baby Bear said in his little voice, Someone has been sitting in my chair and it's broken. Then Papa Bear said in his big voice, Someone has been eating my porridge. Mama Bear said in a middle-sized voice, Someone has been eating my porridge. Baby Bear said in his little voice, Someone has been eating my porridge and it's all gone. Then, Papa Bear decided to look in the bedroom. He said in his big voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Mama Bear said in her middle-sized voice, Someone has been, sl has been sleeping in my bed. Baby Bear said in his little voice, Someone has been sleeping in my bed, and here she is. Goldilocks woke up and she thought the baby bear was so cute that she would have liked to take him home for a bed. But then she saw Mama Bear and Papa Bear. She was so surprised. She jumped out the window and ran all the way home and she never again went so far into the wood. So, she never again saw the little bear house in the forest. Hello! Hello my friend! Before sleep. Hello my friends! Before sleep, I will tell you the story about Goldilocks and three bears. Let's go! Hello my friend! Before bed, I tell the story about Goldilocks and three bears. Go!